Hi students, Mrs. Jarreau here and I am back. Come into the content um, and we are going to take a look at what is 3D modeling. I'm going to click on that folder and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna look through it really quick. Now, as we go through this, not all of this uh, might be stuff that we end up doing. There's some questions along the way, um, a graded assignment activity that we might just do. Um, as a quiz, uh, there's some flashcards, what is 3D modeling quiz, and there are some discussions, uh, and there's a podcast. Well, let's just go ahead and crack this thing open. I'm going to click on the summary, and one of the things that I like to do as a teacher is just make sure that all of my students have access to the information and are able to learn. Um, I know that we have students at a lot of different uh, skill levels. So I'm gonna see what happens if I view this in a new window, if it's larger. Cool, all right, so let me blow this up a little bit too. I know that you can, oops, that was making it smaller, just by holding down control and your plus or minus keys, you can increase the font size of things on your screen. All right, so this is the unit one summary and I know that you can uh, press play on here. Summary. 3D modeling is all around you. You might think of 3D movies or great animations when you think about 3D modeling, though it involves so much more than that. The new skyscraper downtown, that artificial limb given to a wounded veteran, or the latest spacecraft hurling into orbit all likely depended on 3D modeling for their design. With so many uses, 3D modeling is an essential skill in today's world. We'll begin by covering the basics, including what 3D modeling is, how it is done, and what you can do with the skills you acquire. What will you learn in this unit? What will you learn in this unit? After studying this unit, you will be able to 1. Define 3D modeling 2. Discuss how 3D modeling enhances animation. 3. Describe two applications of 3D modeling in the real world. 4. Understand key terms used in 3D modeling. 5. Identify the advantages and challenges of 3D modeling. What is 3D modeling? Introduction. Imagine you're in a 3D movie theater getting ready to watch your favorite movie. Maybe it's an action movie where explosions spill into the theater or perhaps dinosaurs will come leaping off the screen at you. No matter what kind of film it is, the 3D experience depends on one key element, the 3D glasses that enhance your viewing experience. With those on, the action intensifies, elevating its entertainment value. But that is not all that 3D modeling can do. While we all appreciate a good movie, this technology has many more applications. While a T-Rex may move seamlessly across a movie screen, it actually took a team of artists countless hours to bring all of the animation required. To better appreciate what they do, let's explore the elements of 3D modeling. 3D modeling basics. The process involved in the creation of both animate and inanimate objects in three dimensions is 3D modeling. In most cases, this process involves the use of a software application to develop the 3D dimensional object, which is also known as a 3D model. The software used is generally known as Computer Aided Design, or CAD, applications. Let's break it down into simpler terms. 3D modeling is the designing of any surface or object to have three dimensions, three dimensional parts with the use of a CAD app. So if you're using a computer program to give an object the appearance of depth, you are 3D modeling. The final object or item that you use this process to create is called a 3D model. A 3D artist is the person who brings the 3D modeling to life. It takes a team of highly skilled 3D artists to bring even the simplest scenes together. Next time you watch a 3D movie, think about all of the people who worked hard to bring the images together to give you a more interactive experience. What is 3D modeling? 3D modeling and animation. Now you know what 3D modeling is, but how is it used? It is an important part of several industries, but let's first consider how it has improved animation. 
Animation has been around for over a century and 3D modeling has enhanced this industry. If you have ever seen older cartoons like early Disney films or maybe an episode of classic cartoons such as The Flintstones or Scooby-Doo, you'll notice that the figures look like they are moving across the background. That's because animation was a tedious process with these older cartoons were made and so only the main characters were animated. As technology improved, animation became more sophisticated, but nothing revolutionized animation like 3D modeling. Today, 3D modeling is part of most animation and many live action shows and movies, which are those that use real actors, let me get to that, or animals to tell their stories. These shows often depend on 3D modeling for special effects. It is 3D technology that brought animation from flat on the page or two-dimensional, 2D, to 3D. But you only need to take off the special glasses at 3D movie to see that the images are right there on the screen and that 3D animation is really creating the illusion of depth on the screen. Look at the image of the girl provided here. Do you see how the use of lines and shadow give depth to the folds of her skirt? How the placement of her eyes helps give dimension to her profile images that's what 3d modeling can do it gives us animated characters that are much more like life like than traditional 2d animation what was the first movie to use 3d animation that is a tough question to answer like most technologies 3d animation evolved over time for instance the 1977 film star wars had 3d imaging on one scene in 1982, the movie Tron amazed audiences with a full 15 minutes of 3D animation. Imaging in 3D contributed to many movies throughout the 1970s and 1980s. In 1995, the movie Toy Story became the first full-length film to be done entirely in 3D imaging. This gave the characters much more realistic movements, if classic childhood toys like Mr. Potato Head could actually move, of course. Animation has only moved forward from there and audiences can count on the fact that technology will continue to find new ways to bring animators' visions to life. Texture mapping and painting. One of the ways in which 3D modeling is better than 2D is that it allows for greater details that provide texture. Texture refers to the feel, appearance, or consistency of a surface. Of course, in 3D design, this is represented visually. For example, if the character is a bear, 3D modeling can create the texture of fur. This can make the movements feel lifelike. For instance, the bear's hair could blow in the wind or move with it as it runs. The same techniques can be used to make the scales on a fish or a dragon glimmer in the sun. Even if the animation is not on a character, textures still make for more realistic scenes. For instance, the wood grain on a table or the velvet texture of a dress are now standard parts of animation. Rendering. The process of fine-tuning the texture and color design of the 3D character, the added texture and paint or color to create the final product you see in the screen is known as rendering. Rendering is an automated process which creates a photorealistic model and is carried out automatically by the application used. Photorealism, which is making something look as realistic as a photograph in a medium such as computer graphics, is what 3D modeling strives to do. Rendering is like developing a photograph from an old-fashioned camera. The image is captured on film, but it has to go through a chemical process and be printed on paper before it makes sense to the viewer. Rendering is the equivalent of the process for 3D imaging. It takes a complex combination of computer programs to bring a 3D character to life. Making sure that these processes all working together in the final product is actually one of the most difficult parts of the animation process. However, if it is done right, the character will move effortlessly and realistically across the screen and audiences will have no idea how much work it took to get them to do so. Simulating motion. Once the character is created, the next step is giving it the power of motion and the realistic movements we have come to expect from animated characters or actors. This involves making sure a character moves naturally or an object falls, crashes, or flies realistically within a scene. A fish does not move in the same way as a frog, nor does a dog move like a cat. Similarly, a leaf will not have the same motion when it falls as a rock during a landslide.
It is the job of the 3D artist to not only know and understand these differences, but also to make them appear on the screen. What is 3D modeling? 3D modeling and its real world applications. So far, we have only looked at 3D modeling as it applies to entertainment like movies and film. However, there is a lot more to it than that. The technology that created 3D modeling has revolutionized several industries, so let's see where else 3D modeling has practical applications. Gaming! If you are a fan of video games, then you have probably noticed the improvements in the graphics over the years. This is in large part due to 3D modeling. Every character or scene you see in a digital game was developed using a CAD software application. In many ways, creating a character within your favorite game is usually your first introduction to 3D modeling. Vehicle design. The CAD environment provides a platform for the design, development, and testing of various devices that power the aeronautics industry, including machines, spaceships, transportation systems, and devices. Every new airplane, drone, or flying device is first constructed with 3D modeling software apps. Similarly, the latest concept car at the auto show began as a 3D design. The fields of aeronautics and automobile design welcome 3D modeling professionals. Aerospace has really benefited from 3D modeling and the fact that 3D printers can now create anything designed with a computer. One of the advantages of these improved methods of design and production is that designers no longer have to worry about how hard a part is to make since it can be as simple as hitting a button on a 3D printer. GE decided to put this concept to the test by creating a contest asking people to create a better design for an engine bracket. Not only did this contest result in an improvement to the design of the bracket, but also it created a version that was 83% lighter. When it comes to flying a plane, less weight equals less fuel, and that's good for the budget and the environment. Industrial design. The industrial design niche relies solely on CAD applications to develop the prototypes that drive this industry. The PlayStation and Xbox One gaming pad are both products of 3D modeling. The field of industrial design is one of the top niches where 3D modeling plays an important role. Architecture, architectural practice, has been completely revolutionized by 3D modeling as it provides architects with the means to plan and draft structural concepts with ease. CAD applications such as Autodesk Revit also provide Building Information Management or BIM features. Building Information Management is composed of digital software program platforms that have both 3D modeling tools and collaborative tools such as messengers for communication and file sharing features. These allow architects, engineers, and construction designers to enter information about the building they want to create into a computer and have the building created in 3D. Basically, these programs integrate a lot of what used to be done by hand into a single process with far less room for human error. 3D printing. Additive manufacturing is another term for 3D printing, which could not exist without 3D modeling. A 3D printer must be fed with a 3D model in order to manufacture physical objects, thereby providing numerous opportunities for career-oriented 3D artists. You've learned how 3D printing is used in aerospace, though it has uses in several other industries as well. Art, the computer graphics and 3D models created by animators are also viewed as a form of art in many circles. Design programs can be used to create interesting and dynamic art. In addition, these kinds of graphics are also being used in publishing and other fields that were once dominated by printed products. So many industries rely on 3D modeling to keep their wheels spinning. And here is a fun fact you need to keep in mind. Once you can showcase your abilities using a CAD app, most of these industries are immediately open to you. If 3D modeling appeals to you, look for ACAD classes. College majors like product design and engineering will also offer you plenty of opportunities to build the skills you need for a great career in 3D modeling. What is 3D modeling? Terms, concepts, and elements that make 3D modeling work. Are you excited about 3D modeling? It does offer increased possibilities in designing games, robots, and 3D printed objects. So let's take the first steps to understanding 3D modeling by becoming familiar with the different concepts and terms you will come across during this fascinating journey. In the simplest terms, 3D modeling is all about shapes. If you've taken a geometry class, many of these terms and concepts are probably going to be familiar. Essentially, 3D modeling is about understanding how various forms occupy space. It is really just telling a computer where to put lines and points in space and then how they should move or connect once they are formed. 
Here you see what looks like a pretty, sorry, simple shape. However, a 3D artist sees a lot in this basic form. For instance, the area within the outline is called the face. It is the flat surface between the edges or lines defining the borders. The edges meet at the vertices, which we would call the corners. You can also think about vertices as the points at which the lines of the edges intersect. For 3D designers, all of these terms reflect specific points in space that define their design. One of the most basic shapes is the polygon. This is any 2D shape with straight lines. So a square, triangle, and octagon are all polygons. These are the building blocks of 3D design since complex images are usually built by being broken down into simpler shapes. For instance, those skyscrapers in Shanghai are essentially a collection of polygons. It is easy to see the patterns of the polygons that form them when we look at the 3D models of the building designs. The practice of joining polygons together to form a larger image is called connectivity. Usually, they are connected by sharing edges. If you look at the image of a building provided, you can see the way in which the polygons are connected and work together to create this complex design. Lines are not straight. Lines that are not straight are curves. And these are used to change or distort a shape. These are generally used where motion is needed. For instance, remember the textured fur of the bear? Each hair can be broken down to a simple shape, and thanks to the wonders of technology, thousands of them can be created relatively quickly to make that hairy bear. The fact that they are not straight also makes it easier for them to illustrate motion. There are also terms that go with the programs that create 3D modeling. In some cases, these overlap with terms you already know. For instance, commands in CAD. Programs are the combinations of keys that you use to give the program instructions, like where to put a line or how to rotate a figure. If you play video games on your computer, you know the commands that will make your avatar move where you want it to or fire a weapon. Commands have a similar function in CAD programs. Of course, these terms are just a few of the 3D artists need to know, and you will pick up a few more as you move through this course. Like all professions, 3D modeling has its own vocabulary, and knowing the terms is an important part of the job. What is 3D modeling? The advantages and limitations of 3D modeling. As with all great technological advancements, the use of CAD to create a 3D model comes with numerous advantages and some limitations, but thankfully the benefits far outweigh the limitations. For example, the fact that designs are created on a computer makes it easier for them to be edited, modified, and changed than the, when they were drawn by hand. Just like word processing made it much easier to edit or change an essay, CAD makes the design process much more efficient. Just like you might be reluctant to change a few sentences, if it meant rewriting the entire page, CAD programs encourage innovation because they make alterations relatively quick and easy. The advantages of 3D modeling. Create flexible designs. In 3D modeling, the character you design is only complete when you say so. As an example, let's say you have designed a 3D representation of Transformers Optimus Prime, and a day later you feel it is incomplete. Imagine you forgot Optimus Prime's sword and a sturdy shield. All you need to do is open your software, start modeling these items, and attach them to your character in record time. For those designing automobiles, it means that they can adapt to new innovations or regulations quickly and easily before production starts. So if the government requires a new kind of bulb for headlights because it is safer, 3D modeling makes the necessary changes easy. Draw and design with accuracy. What if you have great ideas, but when you put pen to paper, the ideas don't come across well because drawing has never been your strong point? With a little patience and practice, you can bring your visions to life. In addition, others will easily be able to replicate your designs accurately because all they will need to do is upload them onto your computer. Since design is often a collaborative process, these programs help professionals work together. Unlock your creativity. With 3D modeling, you have the opportunity to bring your own ideas and creations to life. Although it is digital life, the feeling you get from creating your own dragons, concept cars, tennis shoes, or short animated short stories will be some of your greatest digital experiences. The limitations of 3D modeling. 
While technology solves a lot of problems, it generally comes with limitations. There are many benefits to 3D modeling, though part of considering a career path is also understanding the challenges. So here are a few aspects of 3D modeling to consider. A steep learning curve. Learning to use a CAD software application can be a daunting task for first-time users, particularly if you do not have a lot of experience with computers. Therefore, you will require the right motivations and tools to succeed. Thankfully, the silver lining of mastering 3D modeling is that the knowledge you acquire is transferable to every other CAD tool you will ever use. This means that once you are good with one program, such as Blender, working with others like Maya, SolidWorks, or any other apps comes easily. Setting reasonable expectations is key. Just like any new skill, you want to keep it simple in the beginning. Once you've mastered the core elements, you can begin to get fancy. Tedious modifications. There are thousands of online platforms where you can find completed 3D models. Generally speaking, these models are usually generic, meaning what is available is basic and not very interesting. Therefore, to add your own unique ideas to them, you must understand the design process of the 3D model's creator, and this can be hard to figure out. In this situation, CAD tools still offer some help to designers by allowing them to document the 3D modeling steps they took. You can navigate around this limitation by looking for 3D models with well-documented design processes, but you will still need to spend some time learning how to make it your own. Many elements to a design. As you've probably figured out, 3D modeling is quite complicated. That means there's a lot of room for error. One typo in entering data and your entire design is off. While complex designs are easier than ever, it still takes considerable skill to pull them off. If you have ever had a computer crash or freeze at an important moment, you know what technology can be as frustrating as it is helpful. Requires specialized equipment. While it may seem obvious you need a good computer for 3D modeling and the programs or apps you need can be quite expensive. Fortunately, there are a lot of free options on the web that will let you get your feet wet. But if you want to be a professional in the field, you will have to use the equipment that is standard in the business. It will also require some training and education. Given the career potential, these can be excellent investments. Acquiring any new skill has its challenges, but in the case of 3D modeling, there are a lot of benefits as well. Not only can it be a great creative outlet and build the worlds that are in your imagination, but also it can lead to a very satisfying career in several fields. Doing your homework and figuring out which of the numerous CAD programs are going to be the best for the kind of 3D modeling you want to pursue is a great place to start. Conclusion now you know how a majority of your favorite fictional characters have been brought to life in movies using the tenets of 3D modeling. We also discussed the important roles 3D modeling plays in diverse industries to provide you with a rounded knowledge of its abilities. Next time you're in a downtown area, think about the CAD programs that probably help the architect design the buildings or the automobile designer create a new model that speeds by you. They both depend on 3D artists. So the next time you pick up your favorite game, robotic kit, or watch an animated movie, take time to appreciate the effort put into creating these forms of entertainment. Better yet, you could also take the bold step of creating an iconic world of your own. Unit 1, text questions. Critical thinking questions. One, identify one of the advantages of and one of the challenges of 3D modeling. Two, describe two applications of 3D modeling used in the real world. Three, what are some ways that texture mapping and painting bring 3D objects to life? Four, what is the purpose and process of rendering an image? Five, the use of 3D modeling has led to many developments outside the field of entertainment. Discuss a current or future use of 3D modeling in industry or life. Let your imagination soar. Flashcards. Flashcards allow you to review key terms and ideas about with, found within this unit. You'll be presented with a term or phrase. Think about or write down your answer and then click on the circular arrow in the bottom right of the card to flip it and see the definition. You can use the navigation buttons below to move forward, back, shuffle, and swap the cards. When you swap, you will see the definition first and flip to see the term and or phrase. The progress bar tracks the number of cards in your current position. This is for practice and won't affect your grades. So curves, what's a curve? Lines that are not straight or are used to change or distort a shape. Live action, a show or movie that uses real characters or animals. Connectivity, the practice of joining polygons together to form a larger image. Commands, 
the combination of keys that you use to give the program instructions, additive manufacturing, 3D printing, rendering, an automated process which creates a photorealistic model and is carried out automatically by the application itself. In other words, it's like developing a picture. So after you do all the work, you have to render it or develop it so that others can see it. Vertices, the points at which the lines of the edges intersect. Photorealism, making something look as realistic as, and photographic as possible in a medium like computer graphics. So like if you enter a contest, the more realistic you can make something, the better. Edges, the lines defining the borders of a shape. Polygons, any two dimensional shape with straight lines. So triangle, square, hexagon, septagon, pentagon, octagon. Face, the area within the outline of a shape. And back to curves. All right, so it's time to take this quiz. Go ahead and open up your quiz. What is 3D modeling? And follow along with me. Let's take this quiz together. Okay, uh, question number one. One of the ways in which 3D modeling is better than 2D is that it allows for greater details that provide the feel, appearance, or consistency of a surface. True or false? Number two, what are the points at which the lines of the edges intersect? <laughs> what are the points at which the lines of the edges intersect called? Are those points called dots, corners, faces, or vertices? Question three, 3D modeling provides architects with the means to plan and draft what kind of concepts with ease? Structural concepts, theorized concepts, inspired concepts, or communication concepts? Four, polygons are the building blocks of 3D design since complex images are usually built by being broken down into simple shapes. True or false? Polygons are the building blocks of 3D design. Question five, with 3D animation, it is all about creating the illusion of what's on the screen. The illusion of what on the screen? Depth, emotion, length, or dialogue? about the creating the illusion of question six the computer graphics and 3d models created by animators are also viewed as a form of what in many circles form of meditation form of art friendship or entrepreneurship question seven a show or movie that uses real actors or animals is often referred to as connectivity, rendering, photorealism, or live action. Number eight, what was the first full-length film to be done completely in 3D imaging? Was it Star Wars, Toy War, Toy Story, Tron, or WALL-E? Question nine, when polygons are joined together to form larger images, they are usually connected by what? Shared angles, identical faces, common vertices, or sharing edges. When polygons are joined together to form larger images, they are usually connected by angles, faces, vertices, or edges. Question 10. Rendering is equivalent to developing a photograph from an old-fashioned camera. True or false? Question 11. What is rendering? The practice of joining polygons together to form a larger image? making something look as realistic as a photograph in a medium like computer graphics, an automated process which creates a photorealistic model and is carried out automatically by the application used, or the applications used to create 3D models. As 3D modeling has its own vocabulary, knowing the terms is an important part of the job. True or false? Which of the following is a practical application of 3D modeling? Teaching, cooking, gaming, or blogging. What is one advantage of 3D modeling? The ability to create flexible designs, the ability to make 3D images with no experience or knowledge, the ability to make hundreds of 3D images in under a minute, 
No specialized equipment is needed. Question 15. Once a character is created, what is the next step? Giving it the power of motion and realistic movements. Choosing a hair color and eye color. Writing the script and text the character will say. Designing the setting of the story. And submit your quiz to see how you did. So that concludes unit one. I think I'm just going to have you take that 15 question quiz and that should cover it.